Let's get to the money. Let's get to the money. Money. My money. money. Let's get to the money. Let's get to the money. Let's get to the motherfucking money. Fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. FTV screaming. Fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. Fuck fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. Fuck fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. FTV screaming. Fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. Fuck fuck the bookies. We don't think they're gonna ask me. Fuck the bookies. Woke up in the morning, grab my little black book. Guess they're making me a dick 'cause we lost by the hook. Can't win them all, so you never see me get shook. Today's a new day, the bookmakers getting cooked. When I spot a dirty keg of four units getting played, always find the value. I would never be afraid. Scared money don't win, but I'm not going all in unless I see a bet I love and I put my balls on a bookie's chin. Let it all soak in. Doubling my bread, winning money with my friends. If you got the itch and you wanna go big, follow Sharpie bets and you gon' really fucking win. This is not financial advice, it's entertainment. But if I find the right price, believe I'm parlaying it. You can see my spreadsheet, I'm winning, not just saying it. Profit in the green every week, I'm never negative. I can bet an ace on a shitty all picture. Yeah, Pick the yeah. right spots 'cause I'm the cake prop whisperer. Ooh. Shut up when I'm speaking, do you finally get the picture? I'm the best in the world. Tell me you get rich. Fuck the bookies. Fuck the bookies. Okay, we know what you're here for, and if you haven't, smash the like on your way in. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, and I'm gonna do what I do, and that's put money in our pockets. We got ALCS game one, and hey, we got who? Who else would you want? Two teams that really don't like each other. That's been taking jabs at each other, and the Astros ended up winning this their division on the last fucking game of the season. Oh well, we've got the Texas Rangers who are humming. And we've also got the Houston Astros with JV on the mound. We've got Justin Verlander going for the Astros. And we've got Jordan Montgomery going for the Rangers. And we are in Houston to start the series. And if you know and you've watched the Bucking Dead all year, you know what I'd say about Houston. Philadelphia and Houston soak their infield. We get double plays. We want ground ball pitchers. We want to look to back those type of guys. And uh, let me tell you, Jordan Montgomery knows how to get a ground ball when he needs to get a ground ball. And this also plays into the fact of the Rangers being off for five days. We've seen what happened to those teams that were off for five days. I'm not making up excuses for the Dodgers. I'm not making up excuses for the Orioles. And I'm not making up excuses for the other fucking jackass team that got swept as well. So, Or at least a gentleman sweep the Braves. My bad, 3-1. So at the end of the day, having five days off is not good. You need timing. You're looking for timing. So I'm going to pick on a few of these spots here today. I have a double up, two full units. I'm getting in, guys. There's going to be some games where I don't have a bet. And if I see good ways to bet, we're getting in. And today, we're going to get the fuck in. Can you feel the tension? I can. I can feel it down in my plums. And if you can't feel it down in your plums, then I don't know what's wrong with you guys. And I'm going to take the first five under five at minus 130. They had it on Bovada at four and a half even money. But to the alt, I went to the five. Thought maybe minus 135 is going to be there. And I got a minus 130, and I thought that was love. I would still bet the four and a half if you cannot do the alt. At the end of the day, we've got two guys that I expect to show up and shove. I don't want to pick a side. We've talked about it many times when I think both guys show up. This goes under even if one shows up. I expect both to show up as well as us get some tired Rangers bats. If we talk about Jordan Montgomery facing these Astros, he faced him once this year, went 6.1 innings, gave up one earned run. Faced him again last year, went 6.2 innings and gave up two earned runs. This guy knows how to pitch versus this team. This guy knows how to pitch in the biggest of situations and in the ruckus of crowds. He's pitched in Seattle. He's pitched in Tampa Bay. Okay, Tampa Bay has no crowd. Okay, okay, but Seattle's legit. Had to pitch there to, to get the win, to get them in. To the playoff race and then he went and pitched in camden yards you know that was their first time having a playoff game in a long time so i expect this guy to show up and not be worried one bit about that on the other side we're going to take a full unit on justin verlander's outs over 15 and a half minus 105 this man is that dude let me tell you justin verlander sucks in the playoff no he sucks in the world series if we go back to 2018 take out the world series he is Five and one to the over 
15 and a half going six outs from six innings or more in every spot opening up a series when it's the first time seeing them. So this is the first time seeing them this series. What he will see them again in five days, but that does this is what I meant about first time seeing them. So this guy goes six innings or more every time. Leash is out there, Dusty Bake. You can give up three runs, Justin Verlander, in the first. I don't want you because I'm on the under, but he will still let you go seven innings if you wheel it back in. So double up spot, get in where you fit in. I'm going to get in where I fit in, and that's with a grocery cart full of free groceries. Yeah, and uh, double up. First five under five, minus 130 with Verlander's outs over 15 and a half at minus 105. Can you feel the tension? Can you feel the tension? I can. I can feel it down in my 